guys, so today's video is actually going to be a really fun video. I'm starting my back to school series since summer is ending and school is coming. I'm really depressed about that actually. I mean, I love getting organized and all the clothes and everything, but it's actually depressing. After the first day, you're just like, can I sleep the rest of the year or the rest of the century? So my series is actually going to be SWS, which is Surviving with Sierra. For back to school, I know it's a really cheesy name, but this is my first episode and there will be many more videos for back to school. I promise I'm going to upload so much on this back to school series. I want to help you guys survive this school year of 2014 slash 2015. This is my first back to school series and I'm super excited about it. So yeah, that is what my series is called. If it is cheesy, I know. I'm sorry. Maybe next year I will come up with a better name. If you have any name ideas, totally comment them down below because I'm really not sure what I want to name it next year. I'm trying to think of names. So yeah, today's video is going to be a hair, makeup, and outfit idea for school. I think this is super neutral and you guys could work it and we could work it and we could survive and work it together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a big thumbs up. I hope it helps you guys or gives you guys some ideas. I think this outfit and makeup and hair look is super easy to recreate and it's really cute and I love it. So, so I love you guys and let's get started. We have fallen down again tonight In this world it's hard to get it right Trying to make your heart feel So now I'm just going to wash my face and then use my daily moisturizer to moisturize my skin. Talk about love like it's easy to do. Now once I'm done dancing, I'm just going to be priming my face with my baby skin pore eraser and just applying that to my skin. Next, I'm just swiping some light concealer under my eyes to brighten them up and make me look more awake for school. And then I'm just blending that in with my ring finger. And then I'm just applying some Maybelline concealer to any more of my blemishes. Now to avoid being a grease ball, I'm just applying some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder all over my face, mostly where I applied concealer, and yeah, that's basically it. And you know, it's totally cool just to sing in your makeup brush, it's, it's fine. Now I'm just applying my NYC bronzer just to the hollows of my cheeks to create a very warm and natural look. And every single time I apply bronzer, I always have to do the fish look. It's just a must. Now to have strong eyebrow game, I'm just filling in my eyebrows with my Milani Brow Kit and just making them a little bit more defined and just brushing them back with a spoolie brush. And now I'm just priming my lids and taking the same eyebrow kit from Milani and just applying the lightest shade onto my lid, which is kind of a really nice champagne-y color. And then I'm applying the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze just to give my crease a little bit more of definition. Now I'm just randomly applying blush, but I'm taking this Revlon Lip Butter in the shade, I think something sorbet but it's just a really pink color i'm just applying that to my cheeks for a natural flushy look and then i'm taking my black eyeliner and just applying that to my tight line and my waterline for more definition and more of a smoky and mysterious look <laughs> yeah. now just take your favorite mascara and you are set to go and come on, we all have that face when we apply bottom lash mascara. <laughs> now I'm just moisturizing my lips and applying this MAC lip gloss, which is a really pretty pale pink, and I think it looks really good on anyone, and it's just really pretty and really natural for school. And that's the finished perfect makeup look that I think is really easy and quick to recreate. Now we do not want to walk up into school like this. So to prevent this, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create these really amazing 
hairstyle that I'm obsessed with and I'm definitely wearing so much for school. So to start off this hairstyle, if you do not have time to wash your hair, then you can always just cover that up with some dry shampoo and my dry shampoo is from Not Your Mother's and this is my favorite dry shampoo. It totally works and it covers up that blob that we have under our hair and then after that I'm just brushing my hair out just to make sure I get all the tangles out. Now I'm just taking some volumizing mousse from the brand Nexus and just shaking that up real good. And it's a really cool foam consistency so it'll soak up any oils that are still left in your hair and give your hair like a nice beachy cool look to it. And then you just want to keep scrunching that all throughout your hair how much you desire because girl you can never have too much in your hair. Now to have more structured curls, you could also do this if you wanted to. Just grab your favorite curling iron or a wand and dance. Girl, you have to dance while it's warming up. And then you're just going to take a little bit of sections and just curl those sections. So you're not taking all your hair, you're just taking certain little sections and curling them. And that is basically it. And yeah, I'm just fast forwarding this because I'm just doing that to a couple pieces of my hair. And that is it for this hairstyle. So this step is totally optional, but I'm just spraying this Charming Charlie sparkle stuff that you can actually spray in your hair and just gives your hair a little bit more shine and sparkle, literally. But I really like this stuff and it makes my hair smell super good and looks super awesome, so I'm obsessed. And it's from Charming Charlie's and it's super cute. So for this back to school look, I thought just a simple floral dress or any dress in general with an oversized cardigan or just a jacket would look super duper cute, very comfortable, and if you just throw on a choker, you are looking fab. Snap, snap. And BTW, this outfit is the most comfortable thing I could probably sleep in it. It's super comfy, really cute, and just... I'm obsessed. So the floral dress I'm wearing is just kind of an oversized dress, and I've showed you guys in my other video, my spring lookbook. Um, this dress is from Forever 21. It's literally my addiction. I wear it all the time. And plus this shirt that I layered over this dress is You Can't Sit With Us. It's actually from Ross, and I just tied it to make it look a little bit more casual. I think it is perfect for school because you can't sit with us. Well, you can sit with me. I'll let you sit with me. <laughs> and then with that, I'm just wearing some strappy sandals, which I think are super comfortable, but you could also just go with some white Converse, which I would probably recommend, because white Converse are to die for, and I'm obsessed with them. So yeah, that's basically my outfit. Not only is this outfit extremely cute, it's really appropriate for school, and I just think it's perfect for school. And if you wanted to layer even more, you could also add just a black cardigan, which I'm doing, or just any jacket in general. I just think it's super comfortable and really adorable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hair, makeup, and outfit for back to school, and I hope it helps you guys, and I love you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!